hello. My name is Eva Marcinek, and I would like to tell you a story about the cinema for the blind. This expression, cinema for the blind, can be associated with another uh, enclosed space, another ghetto for disabled people. And this is exactly the situation we would like to avoid. In our opinion, cinema should be a meeting place. I mean the universal, multidimensional meaning of the word. A meeting as a shared contact on equal terms. It's also a meeting of two different words. People able to experience images and people without disability. Um, from the beginning, uh, it became clear for us that this division is very apparent. The division between people able and unable to experience images. And we believe that thanks to the magic of this, this, uh, of the seminar, such an experience can become something extraordinary, something even something mystical. And the question was, what is disability? And uh, we knew that whole, I that whole idea of disability will be tested and it will be transformed with the confrontation of reality. My today's talk is related to the cinema, cinema. So we thought that the story we wanted to tell you, the story about the cinema for the blind, could be narrated in their own dramatic structure, a screen screenplay structure. So, it's now time for Act 1, Introduction. Every story has its beginning. For us, it was the first contact with subject of audio description. As a cultural institution, we took part in a conference in Warsaw devoted to the question, how to help blind people and expand their access to culture. At this meeting in Warsaw, we met two people, Basia and Tomek, with whom we cooperate until today. Basha and Tomek are involved in popularization of audio description. They, they travel around the country teaching and talking about audio description. And they both are blind, so they are very brave. They travel alone and everything they can count on is human kindness. After meeting Basha and Tomek, uh, we just wanted to know whether our concept of the cinema for the blind, uh, will it, it succeed at all and where will it lead us? So now it's time for Act 2, Rising Action. Uh, it was time for an effective action for us. We already knew what we wanted and how to do it. First, we didn't want the cinema only for the blind. Um, the priority for us was integration. Uh, we believed that uh, the integration is the most important thing in this meeting in the cinema. And second, we knew that we have a problem because um, audio description can become something like invasion in the comfort of uh, the audience reception. For sight people, audio description can become something like unwanted guest who appeared uninvited and destroyed their relaxing time in the cinema. So the only way to provide comfort to all participants of the film projection was a camouflage audio description. Uh, if you know something about audio description, uh, you know that this technique is to describe everything. Lector, based on a previously prepared script, describes everything, from general to specific, without uh, judging or valuing. And now I will explain to you how it works, the audio description. So, in the cinema, there is a lector who is located in a soundproof room, and all the on, on the audience, uh, people had headphones with ER receivers or radio receivers, it doesn't matter. So during the lift projection, lector reads the text, the uh, audio script, which, um, and lector's voice receives uh, to the uh, audience without disturbing the rest of the people. So, 
sorry. Mm, until this day, we have managed to uh, show only one film on DVD. Uh, it was uh, our great uh, success, I must say, because creating an audio description is a very tedious and time-consuming job. But uh, I was talking about uh, these technical requirements, but it's not really a problem. In our story, it was just a basic conflict followed by, by subsequent various problems, obstacles and, and risks that frustrated our attempt to reach the goal. First big, real big complication uh, was appeared between us and film distributors. Because in uh, Poland, audio description is something new, very new. So it's also very problematic for lawyers, for uh, law, also for copyrights problems. Uh, so in Poland, there are not enough uh, legal regulation to provide audio description. There is not enough earning standards and not enough procedures. Not enough verification, the verification system is not, uh, not as it should be. Um, and the most important, the uh, audio description is not something like standardization. It's not standardized. Um, and I, I, as I suggested earlier, it was pretty, far, um, pretty hard to convince the sighted part of the audience that they are dealing with normal film, not a strange kind of film for disabled, not a really different kind of film for uh, blind people. Those who risked and um, participated in our film projection wasn't disappointed at all. They were grateful. And just before the third act will take place, uh, I must admit that uh, uh, that, that we betray the classic screenplay structure. We never succumb to despair. Um, it's that moment in the story when the weakness pervades uh, over the faith in success and the goal, goal seems unattainable. Um, and now I will explain how uh, it works for us as an uh, organizer. Um, it's easy. If you, um, if you want to go to a film premiere, you simply buy a ticket to cinema. A blind person doesn't have this possibility. Um, doesn't have this possibility. Um, and if you are an organizer, uh, even if you have found a cinema which has necessary equipment like headphones, like ER or radio receivers, like a special room, a soundproof room for lector, even if you have found that, and even if you have found a um, lector who will read the text during live projection, and even if you have found an uh, experienced, I mean very experienced person who will ma made a script for, for the film, even if you have found these three elements, you still need to wait at least six months for a first DVD release. Because, uh, as I say earlier, um, the creating of audio description is a very tedious and time-consuming job. It can only work with DVD copy. And, um, and think uh, about that. What uh, with the films, which will never appear on a DVD at all, the blind people won't experience them at all. So, in short, the blind people do not have access to current cinema repertoire at all. And the blind people do not have access to, access to complete film heritage. And next, um, next um, complication was surprising for us because it turned out that the most on, of blind people in Poland have no idea what audio description is and how it works. And it's now a time for Act 3, Climax. Um, after a few projections, um, we began to receive uh, first phone calls with questions, when do you plan to do another audio projection with audio description? It was a great feeling for us. The first major sign that our projections are popular and our viewers began to inform each other. 
And um, I must say that very important for, for us was the next um, sign, because uh, our viewers came outside the Wrocław. And they uh, cover over 150 miles one way to spend only two hours in the cinema. I must um, repeat that because 150 miles one way to spend only two hours in the cinema, it shows how important the cinema and the film is for them. So for first, um, for first signs that our work was good, uh, we waited almost a year. But now we know it, uh, it was worth it. And um, we host uh, visitors uh, from different parts of Lower Silesia in our cinema. Um, also, we have more friends, more allies, people for whom uh, audio description is a great passion. And um, in the end, for the screenplay writer, the most important is to find a balance. And it's also our goal. Uh, for us, in our story, balance can be substituted by another world. Oh, sorry. <laughs> balance and harmony can be substituted with uh, another world, standardization. And it's all we are fighting for, standardization. It's, um, it's the way to provide um, audio description as a normality to our life and our culture. Um, and the thing uh, we always uh, we are talking about is that it should be legal, social and cultural standardization um, and thinking about audio description as a normality. And standardization provide equal access to cultural heritage. Thank you. But uh, today with me, um, also on the audience, is uh, Marek Kotula, who I would like to introduce you. Marek, please stand up. Because, because he's uh, one of the most uh, involved people in Wrocław in creation uh, of the cinema for the blind. He's an author of the scripts. Um, he um, invites people to our center to uh, show them how audio description works and to give them this opportunity to watch audio description. And also, uh, last week, he, he's also a lector in our cinema. So last week, he uh, made a first um, audio description for a theater uh, produ production. So from, thanks to the people like Marek, uh, we can really change this situation. Thank you, Marek.